Uh, let's open pages 23 and 26 of the textbook. Today we're finishing. <laughs> and today's topic is learning and rehearsing stages. Um, so if you were following level one piece um, previously, you are already familiar with the learning process of the piece. <laughs> Why do we need it? How to make it? how much important it is in the in the whole practice routine of your piece. Uh, so basically we're going to repeat the piece by sentences in different tempos, by two, three sentences at a time in different tempos, by five, six sentences at a time in different tempos, and finally the whole piece we're going to repeat in different tempos. I just want to add here is uh, that, that while practicing this way, you will have enough room and time to improve and clarify phrasing and form, because you're going to repeat multiple times the same blocks. So if you have, for example, some uh, vague still ideas about how um, how phrasing is going how musical form is structured don't be worried on um, the learning stage you are gonna have plenty of time and plenty of room in your mind to um, make phrasing and form patterns very sharp and clear in your mind and, um, you know, also you don't have to be very precise with repetitions here. I mean, yes, in the previous, the first level one, I was quite strict about this, but here, since you already got the habit of repetitions, you can be a little bit more free here. So just feel yourself which part is more challenging and uh, challenging and needs more repetition and which parts are going more smoothly and shouldn't be repeated too many times. And um, I'm not going to show it again. <laughs> I think I made pretty funny uh, video about this in the previous level one piece. So let's keep it today. <laughs> but um, I just want to show on the next page 25 is usually you're going to have a little guide to how to fix difficult parts in the piece. And uh, I just want to show you very briefly how exactly you could do, you could apply this principle in this piece. But okay, so let's see, we, we are here. So as you can see, it's written first. Make sure that you go back to your imagination because sometimes, especially on this last stage, you might have some problems with your imagination. You might just have some blanks instead of notes. And those blanks in your mind, blanks, like right? empty spaces, this is uh, where you're going to miss probably the notes. So make sure that you just clarify very slow in your imagination that you are able to imagine every note with movement and glissando. Nothing is missing. Nothing is lost. So let's say you did that. Now, the next step that might help you to fix is, and as you can see again, it's written in the instruction, to uh, clarify your elbow movement because you might need to make it more Precisely, so I move it here, 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 and there. And especially when you go faster, make sure that you still move the same fast way. Same way. And the last thing is to make sure that you are applying musical speech here. Second, 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 third, 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 second, third, 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 second, second. So basically it consists of seconds and thirds here. Because sometimes you might accidentally intonate fourth or something like this, you know. <laughs> so that's why you would miss the note. So clarify imagination. Make maybe quicker album movements. 
and um, make sure that you intonate with musical speech every single interval. And after that, go ahead and just keep practicing till you um, get it in a fast tempo. So first, just separately this part in slow tempo. what is in the left hand <laughs> three four five okay okay so for example I can feel already that actually my first finger did not really feel the note on F there was no enough support so I am just make sure that I intonate this musical speech towards my thumb very nicely and it will kind of force my thumb over here, the muscle of my thumb, to work more active. Okay, so now when you got it in slow tempo, let's speed up, right? Again, my thumb. <laughs> Now you are starting learning backwards, so you start again slow tempo from here. Okay. So before starting playing this piece again, I want to say you can go with the fourth notes so basically like this but I wanted to do something different so I went by three notes first so basically my left hand is gonna match with every chromatic note over here which I found in my case in my opinion more expressive so <laughs> just explaining so now then you speed up I think it's very important not to lock your elbow here and it's gonna be good so now let's come back uh, one bar before and again start with slow tempo again over here <laughs> I said it before but I match my hands a little bit different than usually but again this is just my version again I think I already kind of reached my original tempo but you understood the principle so fix fix the local um, uncomfortable movements then speed it up and then uh, start practicing backwards in different tempos so that's the main principle. And so lastly, in the final stage, um, as usually, you need to practice art artistry to feel confident performing in front of your teacher or um, any audience. And um, for this, I don't actually need to repeat anything here that I said before, but I will link the video about this in the description below. This is from the previous level one piece, so you can just go ahead and practice forgetting about the notes and just focusing on your message that you want to say through your playing. And that's our main goal as a musician. 
um okay i think that's about it um and i'll see you in my next video bye bye